the most. Hi, I'm Gita Lovegood, and today I'm going to be talking about all the different fragment changes we've experienced recently in Wizards Unite and how you can understand them better and know exactly what to tap and what to avoid tapping. And I am re-recording this intro really quick because I had a lot of technical issues that paused me in the middle of this. And while I was having those technical issues, they actually fixed a major bug that was going on earlier today. So if you were keeping up with anybody else or anything going on today, you might have known that there was a bug that was going on where basically they tried to give us all of the new fragments again and something happened and they didn't necessarily carry over. And what happened was it they didn't carry over the locations where they were originally found or the dates or the number of scene so they fixed that it's all ready to go now so no worries about bugs it's all good now you can just breathe and watch the video and have fun with me all right so if you have been actively playing wizards unite over the last few weeks you might have noticed that they have done a lot of updates one of those updates included a complete rework of fragment counts and how many are required for each different thing. And each foundable is pretty much categorized by what severity they are or where they're found. So all the different foundables and fragments that you get from challenges, those are all going to match from the basic page to the bronze page to silver and gold. And then same thing with the different severities. If it's a regular easy severity or if it's all the way up to emergency, all the emergencies will match each other, all the mediums will match each other, all the severes for each page. And the amount that you need for each one has significantly decreased to help us be able to prestige pages much faster. And they've increased how often rare spawns pop up so that they're not quite as rare anymore. Another thing that they changed with this update is how you see which fragments you need to work on. And they added the ability for us to place images over and over and over again. So now I'm going to jump into how to tell what you need to work on, what you need to not place, and what you can go ahead and place in your registry. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and open up my registry and flip to a page that I think will be very helpful for us to look at. For me, that's the Forbidden Forest. So if you notice on this page, there are little green stars by four of the foundables. The brown hippogriff is currently shimmering, and Frenzy is both not shimmering and has no green star. So the green stars represent things that you have already placed. So if you have a green star for every single thing on that page, then you will have the prestige page icon pop up and you'll be able to proceed your page to the next one. Whenever you have an image completed, it will be shimmering and it can have either a green star or no green star. If it has a green star, then it's totally up to you. They have added it so that fragments can carry over. So if it's something that's super rare, like say it's Albus Dumbledore's portrait, that's super rare still. If you have placed that and you have extra fragments on that and you somehow complete it again it's, and it's shimmery with the green star, since it's so rare, you might not want to touch it again because you'll have the ability once you prestige the page for all of those fragments to carry over. But if you decide that you're going to tap it again, then it'll just reset and you'll instead get family XP and runestone rewards for placing that image. So this is extremely helpful for gold pages where everything is already completed or for stuff that's super common for you. So for this page, I actually see baby unicorns a lot. So I might consider going ahead and placing that and not bothering with carrying it over because it doesn't matter because I see them a lot anyways. Or, on the contrary, if I see them a lot and I know that I'm far away, so like, if Forenzi were at zero fragments, I would go ahead and touch it because I know that I need another 10 Forenzi before I can prestige the page, and I'll likely be able to place the Baby Unicorn sticker again anyways. Now let's flip to another page. So if you look at my Nocturne Alley page, you'll notice that I have 29 out of 22 Vestral fragments. There is only one way that you can have a carryover of extra fragments, and that's from this update. Basically, because the fragment count was higher before the update and you needed a higher amount, you had that amount before. And when they lowered it, then you already had more than you needed. And so they're letting you keep that to keep carrying it over and over and over, if, as long as you're doing it the correct way with placing the stickers. So once all of this craziness is over and everything is back to its normal count underneath the count that you need, you will no longer ever have a fragment count that is higher than your max count can be. That is literally only because of this update, so take advantage if you'd like. 
This is only because of this update and I know I definitely am very appreciative that they did that for us and allowed us to keep all of those extra fragments that we worked hard to get. All right, so now I'm going to jump onto a really big fragment page that I have. So before, since I grinded in a lot of dark chambers with my group, I have a lot of wand fragments because before they were requiring a hundred plus wand fragments just to place the sticker. And then the next page it required like 400. It was a crazy, crazy amount. So a lot of us that used to grind in dark chambers have a ton of wand fragments. So with this, what I would want to do is basically tap every single wand fragment. And then once they have the green star, prestige it. All of those extra fragments should carry over. So for example, let's look at, at the very, very bottom wand on this page. It says it's at 150 out of 14. So once I tap it, it will lose only those 14 fragments. So then it'll go down to 136 out of 14. And that 136 will carry over to the next page. And if the next page requires 25, then I'll tap it again. It'll lose that 25. Then it'll go down to like 111. Pardon me if I got that math wrong, just doing it in my head really quick, but just trying to give you guys an example. Then it would go down to 111 out of 25. And then once you have all of those completed, you prestige again, then you can tap it again for the next page and the next page. But that's only as long as you keep those carryover fragments and don't tap it once you have the green star. If you tap it once you have the green star, then you should only drop by however many fragments it is for that page. But you want to try to keep them all until you get to gold and place as many as you can on gold because there is an amazing thing that they have done for placing challenge fragments. So if you are on these pages, the on the challenge section in your registry, so you get these from every single challenge that you do. No matter what you do, no matter what runestone you're using, you always get one of these rewards. And these rewards are based off of which room you go into. So if you go into the night bus, you can actually click on the reward button on the very side of the page. And then you can scroll along the bottom to see which potential rewards you have from that level chamber. So this ruins too, gives mainly the books that are on the very first and second pages for in the challenge registry. And they pretty much work like that where they kind of go up in level, which is why the very last page with the wands are pretty much gotten in only the dark chambers. So an amazing th thing that they did with this is anytime you place a sticker in your challenge section, you get challenge XP just like you do in the other sections, you get the family XP. For the challenge section, you get the challenge XP. And just like the other pages, the amount that you get depends on what page you're on. And the other ones, it depends on what severity they are. So if it's an emergency on gold, then you could get like 800 family XP. But for the challenge families, it's different and they are all the same. Since, since these don't have any kind of severity, they're all classified under the same thing. So they're all counting the same. So if you're on the basic page, I don't know how much you're getting. Um, I have not tested that out, but for bronze, we know that it's 250 challenge XP. For silver, we know it's 600 challenge XP. And for gold, we know it's 1200 challenge XP. That is going to be two books. If you have your challenge family maxed out, you're going to get two books for every time you place three images, oh, give or take 70 challenge XP, you know. So this is going to be a really, really easy and fast way to grind red books. What you wanna do is basically go into the night bus, grind out in one particular chamber so that you're getting the same rewards over and over and over, and try to work your way up to getting all of these different pages to gold. And then every time you place them, you'll get 1200 challenge XP. And for these, like on my joke products page, my goodness, I have 156 out of 25. That means I'm going to be able to place that six times. <laughs> that is going to be so much challenge XP for all of these pages, you guys. Like, it's amazing. And then the same thing for the family rewards. It's so many free runestones that you're going to get to keep battling. And um, I believe it's the same for the challenges in those. So in the regular family pages, like on this page with Hagrid and Buckbeak, the Hagrid's hut and the Braxton horse 
those are going to give the same amount of family XP as the challenge fragments because those are given from challenges. So on the silver page you'll get 600 family XP whenever you place those. If you're on the gold page you'll get 1200 family XP when you place those. You guys, that's 12 free rune stones. <laughs> that's amazing. There's no more worrying about like, oh my gosh, I have this challenge foundable completely finished on this gold page and it's going to be a waste or like whenever we have the community days and we're getting those emergency foundables and we're being held up because we don't have other things on that page that we need to prestige we'll be able to just keep tapping and keep placing the thing one of my earliest thoughts is the time turner community day i was not able to prestige the page on that day at all so i was pretty much just catching time turners over and over and over again for the regular xp to try to boost my wizarding level but now that they've implemented this update you'd be able to potentially just keep tapping and placing that time turner over and over and over again and now it's no longer just like pointlessly catching it for the xp and the family points now you're actually working towards being able to place it again and get so many free rune stones ah. and so many books you guys like ah, it's gonna be so much easier for everybody to finish their skill trees now it's so so exciting this is an amazing update so yeah, basically, I hope I explained all of that. Basically, look for the green stars. Once you have all the green stars for the page, you can prestige. If you have carryover fragments, try to hold off on those and only tap it if there is no green star. Once you have a green star, don't tap it again until you need another green star for it on the next page. <laughs> and then you should pretty much be good. Don't worry about gold pages. Tap away on those because you're not being held back from prestiging to another page. So yeah, don't worry about those. Tap away on any gold pages you have and the rest of them use a little bit of strategy, but pay attention to just what you catch all the time and make your own decisions. You guys are independent. I trust your decisions. I'm super excited about this. I was so far away from all of these fragments. So many room stones, so many room stones. I'm so excited about this, you guys. Like, the dragons. The dragons. Oh my gosh. All right, so I'm going to go ahead 